But the requirements to actually install this correctly in accordance with their recommendations and requirements is virtually impossible to win and to ever get anything replaced. Okay, so I want to show you an example of a fungicidal protective coatings warranty. So I blocked out the name of the actual company for this. But this is pretty typical of every company I've ever seen. And that's how they can do this. So basically what they're saying is that the one, the product has to be installed correctly. And if it's not installed correctly, then the only refund or remedy would be a refund or they're going to buy a new can of the the coating but the requirements to actually install this correctly in accordance with their recommendations and requirements is virtually impossible to win and to ever get anything replaced it also creates a situation that you have the you absolutely can't have mold growing if you meet all these requirements so for one thing they're saying the substrate must be clean and free of all dirt and debris and mold so if the surface is completely clean then you're not encapsulating anything, right? So you wouldn't need to have a coating because the surface is clean. And then they're also going further and saying it must be dry and also clean. They say that again. So dry is a measurement and they're not telling you what the moisture content has to be, but I can tell you that the moisture content has to be uh, correct for the certain climate that you're located and the part of the building that the, the coating is being put in. And that varies. So, but it also means you have to check the moisture content into the center of the, of the piece of material. And usually we're talking about wood in this situation that you would actually have to know, it could be drywall. I would never recommend keeping drywall and cleaning it. You have to know what the moisture content is at the center of the material. So if it's a two by four, you basically have to be able to go in two inches to get to the middle of the four inch dimension. If it's a two by six, you would you can still do the same thing, but you can do it the crossway. So it's an inch and a half wide. You need to get three quarters of an inch into the middle. And it needs to be dry to this moisture content that somebody has to actually determine what the moisture content is that they're, that they're shooting for and that their goal number is. And then they have to test all the areas that have been affected. And then if that's all okay and it's clean, then they still have inclusion, exclusions. And exclusions are things that would void the warranty. Basically, they won't be covering it. And that includes things like hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, so any kind of a natural event that would bring water, cracks and breaks, any kind of movement, settlement or movement, warpage if the product is got trapped water in it and it warps, that won't be covered any kind of distortion of the material and um, or any way that the material doesn't actually stick because it was probably too wet. And so they're, they're excluding all those things. Just know things like trusses move that just move all the time. They move when the wind blows. So that would be excluded on a truss. Uh, then they go further and they say anything like a pipe water, a pipe rupture. So if you end up with water on this situation, then that would void the warranty. If it ends up being discolored, or if there's any kind of a change in the visual appearance, or if there's surface dirt accumulation, just surface dirt, dust, then that's also an exclusion for the warranty. And they, and they go so far as to actually say, if there's mold growth on the material itself, or on debris that has accumulated on the surface, then the warranty is void. So, and then they ag additionally say any, any surfaces that are subjected to continually high moisture levels, and that could be humidity or any kind of water damage. So there's really no way that I can see that you could actually claim uh, something related to these kinds of coatings. Even if you could and you felt like you did all those things, you'd have to do it within 10 days. You have to have the batch number, which is what this is here, the date of application and the batch number of the can. And then when, they, when you do that, your sole remedy is going to be one of two things. It's either going to replace, give you a new can of, of the coating, or they're going to give you your money back for the coating itself. They're specifically excluding the labor costs. So 
when you look at all this, and honestly, if you have the right moisture content in the material and there's no mold on the surface, and you've corrected the high humidity or any other moisture levels that could be a problem in the area, then you're not going to have mold anyway. And honestly, I would think that you don't need the coating because <laughs> you have to have all those things. You have to have moisture and you have to have a food source, which is dirt and dust. And you have to have, um, and if there's mold in the area and if it wasn't cleaned properly, then you're still going to have mold growing. So this is kind of a, uh, it's a, it, people feel safer with this, but I honestly, if you read this, if you read these kind of warranties, I don't know how anybody could feel like they're protected because they're not, they're not. So I just wanted to share that with you. So take a look before you decide to spend money on these kind of coatings. The other thing I would say is you definitely, the only coating I would use is one that's clear because you want to be able to see what the people doing the work and the cleaning did and what they left it looking like. It may be very apparent that it's not clean to begin with, but once they coat it with something opaque, you actually have no idea. And everybody feels really good about it because it's all light color. The other danger is that you're going to trap moisture under the coating. And if you don't end up with mold growing under the coating, then you're still going to end up with decay. <laughs> so we do not want to trap moisture in our buildings. The, the, that's not going to win. The coating's not going to win over moisture, which is why they say that it has to be a dry material. So I hope this is helpful. And... Um, Every company will have these. If they don't have them online, contact the company and ask to see a copy of their warranty. So I hope this is helpful. Check out my other videos and webinars that I have available, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.